Hi there, welcome back to Visits with Soxie and Anna Alice. I'm Alice, your yarn host today, and I'd love to have you join me down here around the craft table, down in my craft room. So to all my new subscribers, welcome. A big yarny hug to all of you folks for coming and joining me in this little yarny adventure. And to all my OGs, welcome back. You know, I always love to have you here and uh, welcome all your comments and all your uh, input into my little yarny corner. And also um, to all the newbies that are kicking around there that have just clicked on my link. So consider subscribing if you think that it's something you'd like to come back and enjoy. Click on the little bell, hit the little thumbs up, do all, this, all the uh, internet uh, YouTube things and uh, let's get started. First off, I'd like to let you know that around here, around the craft table, it is definitely laid back, chilled, non-professional, whatever we get up to. Yeah, for sure. You can uh, chime in with all the comments you like and also get to know each other down there in the comments. Start reading each other's comments, chiming in on each other's projects. That'd be great. I'm running a hashtag in, uh, in uh, Instagram for the Soxy Scrappy Mail 2023. And I'm having all you folks decide if you like to put in some some pictures of all of your scrappy projects they don't have to be socks okay it can be any project you like that's using up some scraps this year for me is the year of the scrap and i am working through all of these piles of little balls of wool that i'm um, getting rid of this uh this year and getting them out of my stash i don't have a huge stash so those of you that know me already know that I don't have a big stash of wool. I usually buy wool just to make a specific project. And yeah, so anyway, so let's get started here today. Thanks again. Like I said, big yarny hugs. Enjoy your visit. Pour yourself some tea from the Little Orange Teapot. I have chai tea today, and this is in a very special mug. Mm. And it's very hot. Oh. Okay, let me show, tell you about the mug. This is a mug from Jennifer's of Nova Scotia, and she likes to show all the Atlantic Canadian work since 1978. So it says that this special mug is by Maritime Potter, Christine Anderson, hand thrown stoneware, microwave, and dishwasher safe. Thank you so much to my bestie Catherine, who gave me this beautiful mug when she came back from the east coast of Canada. As you can see, it's steaming. Can you see the steam coming out of that tea? Oh my goodness, it's so hot. So we'll put it aside here. Help yourself, uh, yeah, to uh, a cup of tea or any other beverage that you would prefer at this time. Sit back, relax, and join me around the craft table. Couple of things, actually lots of things. Really busy this week, guys. I'm talking so fast and I have to slow it down because around the craft table everybody gets a chance to chat yeah and everyone gets a chance to tell all their stories and their yarny goodness um yeah so uh let's see what have i got oh first the admin stuff we'll get that out of the way where you can find me i am on instagram as soxy nana i am on uh, Ravelry as Soxy Nana Alice and of course here I am on YouTube Soxy Nana Alice visits with Soxy Nana Alice as well. So I will uh, have uh, this week is my birthday week so I'm going to be pretty pretty busy between going to my Aquafit classes twice a week and I got a massage this week coming up so awesome which is actually a massage to get all the knots and kinks out of my back and my hips. Uh, if you've been here a while, you know that uh, I do have a bit of problem walking, but that is just old age and uh, arthritis setting in. Of course, this weather changes doesn't help much, but yeah, that's okay. Oh, by the way, March came in like a lamb around here, so it means it'll be going out like a lion, which means we'll either have a snowstorm or a thunderstorm at the end of March. Either one is very welcome. I'm sure the farmers in Manitoba will be very happy to have all of the precipitation. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started here. This week on my uh, birthday week, I am running, like I said, the Soxy Scrappy Mal 2023. And at the end of this week, I will be putting in a quick uh, short to let you folks know who was the outcome of the 58 plus. And I'm going to say plus because so far there's 58 participants and I wrote them all down in a book. And wrote down your Instagram name as well as the item that you were working on. 
and whether they were finished or not, okay? Just slap them into the hashtag, and I'm going to be picking a couple of pattern prizes. Check out Cheryl's McTavish on Ravelry, and I'll be giving a couple of prizes away to her Ravelry shop, and you'll be able to pick a pattern of your choice. So be tuned, be tuned in for that around Thursday, I think Thursday this week. It's the day before my birthday. I'm a sapatic day, birthday girl. But anyways, just... Uh, Check, check, uh, check out Cheryl's uh, Ravelry um, designer page and take a look and see if you're interested in any, which one of the patterns you'd like to pick. If you are chosen, I will use a random number generator and I will video it and put it up as a short on Thursday or Friday. So stay tuned for that. And that leads me into this new segue. Because it's Cheryl does toys, I am running the scrappy toy make along. I have the hashtag scrappy toy make along on Instagram and starting very soon you can you're more than welcome to put in all your pictures of all your toys that you're making. I know around this time of year a lot of you crafters are looking at all the toy patterns for Easter, the bunnies, the rabbits, the foxes and everybody's looking at all their spring makes and maybe looking for some palette cleansers and to make something fun and uh, yeah, enjoy uh, making some toys or just little creatures. Um, I'm going to say gnomes and dolls count as well. So it's not just animals. It's any toy that can be either used by a child or it can sit out and be on display. Uh, it's not something you wear. It's not an accessory. It has to be uh, a type of toy. Okay, and yeah, so please, you're welcome to join me on this adventure to making toys uh, this year up until I'm going to say the beginning of June-ish, okay? And we'll see about prizes and what have you. I don't know what we're gonna, I'm going to be doing for that. It might be just for fun. Okay, guys, I got a couple of other podcasters who are interested in, in joining me in this uh, make-along for toys. So I'm going to touch base with them and see what they're up to and what they'd like to uh, do as well. But for sure, it's it's the Scrappy Scrappy Toy Mal on Instagram, hashtag Scrappy Toy Mal. And we're going to run that one now until the summer for sure. Okay. So, and you're more than welcome to pick any of Cheryl's pattern, lovely patterns to crochet and go ahead and enter those into that hashtag as well. Okay, so uh, I also wanted to send as another a uh, admin thing, a huge shout out and thank you to Alex and Danny from My Yarny Corner. Alex has decided because she was privileged to receive so many gifts last year that this year she will be supporting all of us, all of her friends that are uh, YouTube podcasters that are running hashtags and make alongs that she's going to be supporting us by giving us a little a little treasured gift and for my gift I was so blown away she thought of me she knew I I love modular pro, uh, patterning so she did send me the sewing seeds of love shawl by Hoki Locatelli I'll put a picture of it up here it is a stunning huge wrap style shawl pattern and she has um, kindly agreed to make it along with me. I don't know if I'll get to it till the summer though, Alex. I got a ton of stuff that I'm, I'm thinking of making before the summer. So it'll probably be my summer uh, making it the trailer uh, shawl. But thank you so, so very much, you guys. They're running the hashtag test, test your limits, Mal. Also the hashtag take it easy, Mal. And thanks so much to, again, to uh, Alex and Danny over at My Yarny Corner. Be sure to check them out. Uh, Alex is a wonderful designer, dyer, and maker of all things crafty. She has a shop, and uh, she has also has a Patreon page. And yeah, just check out her podcast and her shop and show her some love. Thanks so much. Okay, so let's get down to some... Uh, Yarny goodness, what have I been up to? Well, I can tell you, I've kind of been dabbling in a few other things. I haven't got my cross stitch. I didn't work on my cross stitch this week. That's on the burner for this week coming up. And I also I haven't got any shown any love to Walter's beautiful vanilla latte socks. So yeah, I'm. Those are also my car knitting. So I haven't been out and about. Uh, we like I said, we were supposed to get a dump of snow. So we've been kind of, you know, hanging around the house this past week. And uh, yeah, we're uh, 
but I have got, did do a couple of new cast ons. I think I did show you. Uh, oh, let's do the FO quick. Oh, and what I'm wearing. Sorry. Like I said, it's pretty laid back around here. The uh, Garter Marler is what I'm wearing. And it's, of course, it's getting all pilly and fuzzy. This is all my Advent minis that I got, did a swap with a couple of friends from the internet. And I we did a, a, a gra uh, 10 gram mini swap. So I used them with a Briar, Briar Twist from Knit Picks palette. It was a palette twist. Anyways, I uh, marled them together and made this beautiful garter marler sweater. And my granddaughter gave me the beautiful buttons, all different colored buttons to go down. And I just absolutely love them. I can't say enough about my granddaughter. She is an amazing crafter and she's a beautiful seamstress. She's come a long way. And yeah, I, uh, oh, if you don't know, I started this podcast way back when at the beginning of the uh, pandemic so that I could actually teach my grandkids how to hand sew, hand knit, and hand crochet. And I have little um, tutorials. They're not the greatest, they're not professional, but it's just something I just went ahead and did because I thought, you know, that's a way to keep in touch with them during the pandemic and show them how to do something in the meantime. So then that's how this all started, you guys. Anyways, so what I got up to, what I finished, so you know I did one muscle bra last, uh, the last week. And this is a muscle bra, yes. And I, I'm going to actually tack them inside so that they stay because there are kids' hat. I don't want the kids to be, you know, messing with them. This way they're just all together in one piece. And I finished another one. And again, using up scraps, guys. This is a Stylecraft Special Decay and in all different colors. And I'm going to show you, too. I'm going to put in a picture of my grandson holding his beautiful C to C blanket that I finished. It was, uh, I showed it off in my other podcasts, my previous podcasts, but this is again, even more little bits and pieces of leftover balls of wool. So yeah, and you just flip up the brim. I like it the other way so that it shows all the colors, but I tried to do some color management. I was explaining that to you last podcast. I did some color management so that I could get some nice striping effect in here but I like that one that one's pretty cool and it is a child's hat so it's a small um, small adult hat large or extra large kids hat and yeah I just uh, whipped out some 3.3.5 needles I believe or 3.75 needles and went ahead and I've been working through my stash of scraps I got one more I'm going to be working on here that's the next one on the list oh here's the needle I'll tell you what it is I am using, yep, 3.75 needles, Magic Loop, and here's a black and gray one I'm going to do with a little bit of, uh, a little pop of orange and blue, and I think that's pretty much the last of my style craft that, uh, that isn't large balls, because that I'm going to be using to make another Whitmore in the future. So yeah, so there's two now, they're multiplying, so hopefully next week. These are my palette cleanser, you'll see why in a minute. And uh, so if when I just need mindless knitting, I just go ahead and do some round, 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 watching some TV and stuff to do up the muscle bro. That's a pattern by Yasol the Teague. And it is living in my new crocheted basket bucket kind of thing that I made. I'll put a pattern link below to a similar pattern. This one I just went ahead and made out of my hair head. It's five strands. I was holding five strands with an eight millimeter hook of uh, and I was using all my leftovers little balls of Novita Nell and Novita Seven Brothers wool little bits and pieces here and there so I've pretty much used it all up I think I have enough to make one more and I'm going to make that one for my living room actually because I have given them away the other ones that I showed you in previous podcasts they were special gifts mm. that tea just smells so good I had to have a sip guys sorry if you don't like the sound I'll try to you know cut that out but we'll see mm. it's nice and warm too so yeah so that is a muscle bra that I've been kind of you know using as a side palette cleanser here and there because I have been working on that beautiful Shima sweater by Beatrice Macy that I uh, found on um, Ravelry she does beautiful design work 
and it's so cool. I did rip back the pink, as you remember, I had, was started with that hot pink. And I don't know, I, I guess I just didn't kind of didn't like it. But this is the pattern. Here you go. It's a paid for pattern. And she has graciously given us a coupon code, which I will also put in here as well as I'll repeat it again at the end. She's got a coupon code for that is Soxy Nana 20 in her Ravelry shop. So go ahead and cruise through, go through her, um, her patterns and definitely get in on that deal. Soxy Nana 20 and uh, you'll get 20% off of her patterns. And this is the Shima sweater. And as you can see, it's kind of a modular. It looks like it's in Tarsha. It's not. It looks like it could be color work. It's not. It's all garter and it's in the round. Blows my mind, okay? It's the coolest pattern. I can't tell you the, the tricks of it, but it's working out really neat. Definitely have to pay attention. It does have a couple of row repeat. So not something that's like a, it's not like a, a, what do you call it? A lace pattern or anything that you'd have to follow. But here you go. This is, let me show you the front. Let me see if I got it inside out. Yes, I do. Okay. Here's the front. And that's got that beautiful texture slip stitch down the front. And this is, so this is the front guys. And it's got the raglan sleeve increases as I go down. And then on the back, this is the cool part. This is the back. And it's got this kind of zebra striping happening. And honestly, I don't think I am doing the exact mm, correct way that she does her, her uh, wrap and turns. But I really like the way it's turning out. It almost looks like a little flower at each spot and I think that's just really pretty and that'll be straight down the back oh I see I have a pulled stitch there I think I pulled that but anyways yeah so that's the back and then this is the front and I'm doing this in I noticed a lot of her pattern um, pictures for her project pages for other people they were doing it in very muted colors and I am so happy that I picked this wool this wool has been sitting in my stash it's been used and reused and ripped back it just needed to have that special project. And I just adore these colors. Okay, guys, I will tell you. This is by Manjusha Fibers here in Winnipeg. Let me find her ball band. It is here somewhere, Alice. Oh, not a ball band, sorry. She has a card. So this is called, this colorway is called Golden Hour. It's an 8020 Merino Nylon uh, Moonstone Fingering Weight. It is 420 yards and 115 grams. She is definitely generous with her balls of wool, guys. This is her. This is Tammy Ivanko, Manjusha Fiber Arts in Lorette, Manitoba. So she is local to me, and that is her information, and I will put it down in the information below. Amazing, amazing wool. This is so incredibly soft and luscious, and the colors are just to die for. So nice, so nice. And the blue is, okay, you can't get the blue anymore. This is Vidalana. I tried. I'll tell you, I really tried. This is Vidalana Mirage Sock by Knit Crate. And it is a 50 Merino, uh, Superwash Merino, 35% bamboo and 50 nylon fingering weight, 400 yards, uh, 100 grams. And yeah, this is uh, machine washable, leave that to dry. And the color, it doesn't have a color name. Oh, yes, it does. I'm sorry. Amargosa. Amargosa. And it is all kinds of these beautiful kind of oceany blue colors. So I've got one ball of this and almost a full two balls of this, uh, this colorway. So I will have enough, I'm hoping, to do a nice top. And I'm not going to put any sleeves. I'm going to leave the sleeves. I'm going to finish off the sleeves just capped off with a little bit of the trim color for this this uh, this golden hour colorway. Maybe do an I-cord. It is a long sleeve pattern, but I'm making it a short sleeve pattern for the summer. So yeah, so that is the fun knit of the week. And it is living in my retreat bag, my wire-framed retreat bag that I made. Made one for myself and one for my yarny friend, Bev. And it says, I knit so I don't kill people. 
I love this bag. And I did a gray interior lining and I had one pocket on the inside. So yeah, so that's living in there. So that's pretty intense. It's, it's TV watching, but not really, you know, it's like, uh, that's why I have the socks and I have, you know, the muscle bra so that I can sort of take a break. My eyes can take a break from reading the pattern. I'm so happy I have a knit companion. I tell you, I, I don't know what I would do without my knit companion. So I also decided because we're going to be doing the scrappy toy mail, I still have this book from the library, guys, and thank you so much for the comments. I did renew my, um, this is a library book. Our local library has this book. So I renewed the, the I renewed or re, whatever you call it, took it out again. And uh, yeah, so this is the Knitted, Knitted Animal Friends by Louise Crowther. And I'm making this little Dorothy Mouse, Dorothy Mouse, but her new name is going to be Maisie. Maisie Mouse after my mom. So I'll show you the picture closer up here. She is so freaking adorable. Is she not the cutest? I absolutely love this mouse. I want this book so badly, guys. But you know what? My my library's got it, and libraries are free. So I started working on the body parts. I went ahead and did a quick order with Wool Warehouse, which shipped out actually by air for eight bucks Canadian. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so I started making the body parts with exactly what they said to use. So I'm using Shapesies or Scapesies, Scape Cheese, Stonewash. If you watch um, Dawn's Days, she, she, she or, or her al wool, woven almanac, she tells you exactly how to say this because I believe it's a Dutch brand. What does it say? Well, made in China, but it's made for scapecheese.com. I'm using the Moonstone color 801. And it's kind of a, it's not really bright white like that. It is blowing out. It is a soft white, not a cream, but a soft white. So I picked up a couple balls of that. And oh, sorry, you don't get to see it. It's body. <laughs> okay, this one is an arm. It's all the pieces are made flat. And another arm. So she's got two arms. And she's got a head here somewhere. Somehow that's going to make a head. Oh, we're getting there. And we've got oh, two ears. I think I got two ears here somewhere. Yep, two ears. So I'm showing you all the parts. This rabbit, or not rabbit, this mouse has got parts. Okay, I got ears. And now I'm working on the legs. And there's a foot. I mean, you can see the foot. It's cute. I can't wait. This is so cute. But I did pick up to make her a little dress or a cardigan and a little pair of dungarees blue jeans. I picked up some drops cotton light in 50 cotton, 50 poly. This color, dye lot, oh, color 26. It doesn't say what color it is. I'd say denim. I'd say denim. And this one is color 23, and I'd say dusty pink. So this one's going to be a cardigan, of course, and this is going to be a pair, a little pair of dungarees. And yeah, so it's so excited. I haven't made knit toys in so long, and I know I very rarely make things that aren't useful, but to me, this little mouse, once I saw her and I just went, that's my Daisy, Maisie Daisy mouse. I had to make her for myself. I saw her at one of my friend's uh, Instagrams, uh, Sue in England. She's got uh, her mouse. I'm not sure what her, her mouse's name is, but as soon as I saw it on, on, uh, on her Instagram, I had to have one. I just can't believe it. I just made it just that split decision. Yes, I'm making myself a mouse. And partly because I want to knit that little mouse outfits out of my scraps from my, I want to make her like a little mini um, uh, rocket tee to match my rocket tee. And I want to make, you know, a little Whitmore to match my Whitmore. Why don't you wear my clothes? I thought that'd be so cute. And if I have a mind and I have enough, maybe I'll make a second one. And then when I'm all done, I'll put them away and, you know, they'll be for my future great-grandchildren or something. My grandchildren have got tons of toys that I've made them mm -hmm. over the years. I usually make these, uh, uh, what are they called? Sock monkeys. But I make them out of socks, actually. I'll show you sometime when I, when I have a minute to grab one. 
Okay, so those are the two main things that I've been making. That Shima sweater by Beatrice Macy and the Dorothy Mouse, which is now being renamed to Maisie Mouse by Lu Louise Crowther. And also the mouse is going to be going in, starting off and kicking off the uh, scrappy toy mail. So be sure to get in on that hashtag and make sure you get your scrappy ones in for this week. Okay, uh, what else have I got here for you? I got lots of things. I wrote a ton of stuff in my notes, guys. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading my notes because I haven't been very good at remembering things lately. And I should see these little lists all over the house. I don't know. I'm just an old fart and I have to have a list for everything. Okay, uh, yes, we got uh, the Muscle Bros, the Shima, the Dorothy. Yeah, so I think I'm pretty close. Oh, I'm doing a test knit again. Okay, the secret test knit that I can't tell you about, but I'll tell you, it's for Nancy Wheeler. Knit Sip, Sip, knit, Sip Happy is her podcast. Check her out, okay? If you haven't, I, I'm pretty sure all of you guys who watch me watch her, all right? But. She's got a pair of socks that have come out in the line of book 52, the new line of book of 52 weeks of socks. Oh my God, I saw the pattern. It is scrumptious. I've got to have that pattern when it comes out, when it's released. But I did the super secret test and it was for her that I can't share you the picture I was with. Not yet. Not until I think it's the end of May or beginning of May. Anyways. Whenever the uh, Montreal Knit City is happening, because that's what it's for. But I'm doing another one. I'm doing another one. Okay, so I said last episode that I wasn't going to be doing any more test knits. Or I was kind of thinking about, eh, test knits. Just not for big garments. That's what I was going to tell you. I've, I, I worded it incorrectly. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to be doing test knits for uh, large garments. I, but socks, I'm in. Okay? Inspirational love the socks okay so now i'll show you the wool first here's the wool i am using remy's rovings and yarn she is arlene klein from Man morden manitoba here in manitoba oh that's blowing out i don't know it's so much color around here i i, I kind of i want to get it close though so you can see the colors but you know what blow it up on your tv why not she sent me this as a i i won this and she, I got a little poodle for the stitch marker. So I'm going to be using that. And these are the colors. I got to ball this up. I'm going to go over to Bev's and use her ball winder because I'm spoiled. I know I have my, 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 my homemade Swift here and my little plastic ball winder. But you know what? It's just nice to get together, isn't it, Bev? And for the contrast color, I'm going to be using up again some more scraps. And this is Heather. And this is Barocco Sock. And so this is going to be, this is going to be the contrasting heel and heel and the little bits of contrast in the color work in the sock. It's not a color work sock. There you go. And I think I can show you the pattern because it was shown on Instagram. I saw it on Instagram today. So sorry, Nancy. If I wasn't supposed to show it, I blew it. Where's my, my knit companion already? Because I love my knit companion. They are called, okay, I'm shy. Yeah, like anybody that knows me knows I'm not shy. Okay, they're called the Tits Up. Tits Up Socks. Let's get rid of the top thing. By Knit Zip Happy. And check out, oh, sorry for the glare, guys, but check out that little bit of cool cabling pattern. Tits Up. It is after i don't know some series i don't get prime so if you know the series put the information down below for everybody else to know what the series is that that uh, these are being fashioned after or in the name of i think it's a saying that they use on the show quite a bit so yeah i am so happy and pleased and honored to do my second test knit with it for nancy thank you so much i did the 72 stitch one for her for the secret super secret one and I'm going to do the 64 stitch one so these ones will be for me this time and the person that's getting those 72 stitch I hope you really love them they are going to be your birthday present this year so yeah there you go that's going to be my next did I show you the ball band here there 
Let me see that. I need to get out of the way. Arlene does gorgeous work. Just beautiful dyer. And she makes, she also has two-piece hooking, which is another, um, do I have her crochet hook around? I had it around just the other day. I was going to use it for my scrappy bag. She does ergonomic crochet hooks. Hang on one second. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. I had to have a quick sip and a cough because I, I guess I got some little bit of fuzz from this. Oh, I should tell you about it. This is an MCN, 80% um, merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, 100 grams, 460 yards, hand wash and cool water, lay flat to dry. And the colorway is called Harvest. I love this. I'm really, really definitely a dusty pink kind of a heather color, colorway kind of person. So I think that's it for all of the yarny stuff. Um, I can give you the coupon codes now if you're ready. So get your pen and paper ready. I'll put them on the screen. They'll be in the show notes below. But I will also tell you, I've got the coupon. Coupon code for uh, Beatrice Macy Design on Ravelry is Soxy Nana 20. That's 20% off of a single pattern that you of your choice in her Ravelry store. That's the Shima sweater. Also, she's got a pair of socks similar to the she sweet Shima sweater, as well as all kinds of um, bundles of uh, different patterns. So her designs come, she's got some uh, sweaters, some short sleeve sweaters, cardigans, and accessories. She's got a cute little bag there that uh, I really like. And uh, so for Cloud9 Fiberworks, which is who I showed off all that gorgeous wool last episode, if you didn't get a chance to check it out, go back and check out Daria from Cloud9, Cloud9 Fiberworks. She's here in Winnipeg and she has graciously given us a 15% off coupon for anything in her store. She, If you use the code SOXYNANA, all one word again, I'll put that on here. And uh, I have always for the next forever from Andy from the Naughty Nitrous. Thank you so much, Andy. Uh, her coupon code is SOXYNITRUS15 for anything in her store. And again, another wonderful dyer maker um, from the States. She's from the... Sorry about that. I just had to uh, take a quick uh, break there to make sure that my words were starting to flow out of my mouth properly. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you to uh, Andy the Nitrous, Daria from Cloud9 Fiberworks, and from Beatrice, from Beatrice Macy Designs on Ravelry. Thank you so much for the coupon codes and willing to share those with all of my subscribers here on my channel. If you are a maker or a dyer and you, or what have you, and you would like to provide a discount code for this channel for me to spread the word, you are more than, more than able to send me that, um, some information about your store and about your products and I will uh, take a look at them and get back to you. You can send me an email at SoxyNanaAlice at gmail.com. And yeah, or you can message me on Instagram as well. And if you just know me, just go for it. Okay, let's just spread the word, spread the love and spread the yarny goodness. So at this point, I think I will stop my video for today. I will leave you with a couple more inspirational photos. This is just, it's been slowing down quite a bit. I think it's time to get that, uh, those little uh, pattern prizes out there to you guys. And then for the rest of the year or forever, if you want to use the hashtag and put in your inspiration, you're more than welcome to. And I will definitely be checking out that hashtag um, going forward. And now we're going to start off, kick off. Today is the kickoff for the Scrappy Toy Mal and on Instagram. And yeah, so be sure to get in on that and check out all the inspirational photos for that. And I will be hopefully putting in a little bit of footage of Chewy today. Chewy uh, and I went on a cute, glorious walk today in the beautiful sunshine. We got some sunshine, which was really nice. And yeah, so take care. Uh, have a great week. We'll see you again on Friday on my birthday, St. Patrick's Day. And knit on, folks. Take care. Bye. Mwah.